while hundreds of thousands of Hungarian Jews were being shipped off to the death camps, George Soros accompanied his phony godfather on his appointed rounds, confiscating property from the Jews. These are pictures from 1944 of what happened to George Soros's friends and neighbors. You're a Hungarian Jew mm -hmm. who escaped the Holocaust mm -hmm. by posing as a, a Christian. Right. And you watched lots of people get shipped off to the death camps. Right. I was 14 years old. And I would say that that's when my character was made. In what way? That one should think ahead, one should understand and, and anticipate events. Uh, and uh, one, one is threatened. It was a tremendous threat of evil. I mean, it was a, a very personal experience of evil. My understanding is, is that you went out with this protector of yours who swore that you were uh, his adopted godson. Yes, yes, yes. Went out, in fact, and helped in the confiscation of property from the Jews. That's right. Yes. I mean, that's, that sounds uh, like an experience that would send lots of people to the psychiatric couch for many, many years. Was it difficult? Uh, uh, not, not, not at all. Not at all. It, uh, maybe as a child, you don't you don't see the connection, uh, uh, but it was it created no no problem at all. No feeling of guilt. No. For example, that uh, I'm Jewish, uh, and here I am watching these people go. I could just as easily be there. I should be there. None of that. Well, uh, of course, I, uh, I could be on the other side, or I could be the one from whom it, the thing is being taken away. Uh, um, but there was no sense that I shouldn't be there, because uh, that was... Uh, uh, well, actually, funny way, it's just like in markets, that if I weren't there, of course I wasn't doing it, but somebody else would, 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 would be taking it away anyhow. In other words, the, whether I was there or not, I was only a spectator, the property was being taken away. So the, I had no role in taking away that property. So I had no sense of guilt. Are you religious? No. Do you believe in God? It was actually probably the happiest year of my life, that year of German occupation. For me, it was a very positive experience. It's a, a strange thing, you know, because you see incredible suffering around you, and, and in fact, you are, you are in considerable danger uh, yourself. But you're 14 years old, and you don't believe that it can actually touch you. You have a belief in yourself, your belief in your father. It's a very uh, happy-making, exhilarating experience.